Hey friends, it's Gabrielle Aishel here and I'm really, 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 really excited for today's video. And a lot of you guys already know because you guys have subscribed to my channel because of these past videos that I've done on Christmas DIYs and I'm excited to do another one. My favorite time of year is Christmas time and I love DIYs in general, but I love, love, love doing them for Christmas time. So I wanted to show you guys what I made this time. My friends know that I like doing DIYs and I like doing Christmas wreaths. So one of my friends asked me to make them a wreath. They gave me their inspiration and um, asked me to do my magic and this is what I did. So the wreath on whatever site she looked for, it costs like almost $200. I'm not selling it for $200, although I could um, because it really does take a lot of time to do this, but I did not charge that much this time, but next time I will, so yeah. Um, but that's why I'm doing this video, so you can learn how to make it for yourself and you don't have to ask anyone to uh, make it for you and pay them money. I just wanted to show you guys how I made this. It is very easy if you have time to invest and put into this. So if you're interested, keep on watching because I'll be showing you how I made this. First off, I wanted to show you the materials that I used. I got a lot of the stuff from Dollar Tree. However, <laughs> disclaimer, Michaels has better quality products. So yes, the Dollar Tree is cheaper, but when you pay cheaper, you're also cutting down on the quality of the product. I got the ornaments from Dollar Tree and Walmart. The reframe that I used was from the Dollar Tree. The first step that we're doing here is covering the wreath with a gold ribbon. And this is just to hide the green. If you do the stuff first and the end, you won't have to do as much to hide pieces of the green reframe that you may see. This is also the point where you wanna make the ribbon for the hook or however you plan to hang the wreath. So this pink ribbon that you see here is what I intend to hang the wreath from. Next, I'm taking the ornaments out of the packaging and taking the gold hardware or whatever, I don't know what the name is, but whatever it is that allows you to hook an ornament onto a tree, I'm taking that off and then arranging the ornaments on the inside of the wreath first. And then I will go ahead and do the same thing for the outside of the wreath. This next part is totally personal. You wanna arrange the ornaments how you see fit. Uh, you wanna make sure that there is no green peeking out. There are places on the reef where I use more ornaments than others just because I saw some of the green still sticking out. I do not want that. You can tell I don't want it because I've said it multiple times in this video, but if you want to show the green, be my guest. That's just how I personally like to do it. To glue everything down, I use a mixture of a hot glue gun and the E6000 glue. So the E6000 glue is a more heavy duty glue, but it also takes a little bit longer for it to dry. On the other hand, a hot glue stick, they dry like in five seconds. In some spots, I use the E6000 glue so that it can have a heavy duty hold, but also I use the hot glue sticks to have a right now hold so i wanted it to stick right now um so the hot glue gun will do that in the meantime while the e6000 glue is drying i will still be able to decorate the wreath because if i just use the e6000 by itself you wouldn't be able to move on to the next step because the glue would not be dry next i'm just getting the merry christmas sign that i got from the dollar tree it was a dollar and that was pretty cool. I've never actually seen that at a Dollar Tree. This time I did actually go to a, a Dollar Tree that was like maybe 45 minutes away from my local Dollar Tree. Um, and that's probably why I was able to find some really nice stuff. But I found it at a Dollar Tree, very surprised. And here we are. <laughs> so I'm just gluing that on. And that's pretty much it. You're just gluing and waiting. So I let this 
dry overnight because the Merry Christmas sign only had the E6000 glue. So I knew that I needed to give it time to dry fully before I was able to show the final product off. And then on the back, you can also see some of the bigger pieces of glue, like here, here. I'll just cut in this one, I'll just cut it like this, making sure I don't cut the ribbon or the whatever this is, the tool. So we are basically done. See, there's like some glue here, but it's in the back, so it's not a big deal, but I'm going to try to get rid of as much as I can. And then I also noticed that when I hang it up, you can still see some green in some places. So right here, I'm going to add a bulb here and then another one here to cover that. And then probably one here too just so that you don't see the green, because that's the goal. You're not supposed to see the actual reframe. You want to just see the beautiful colors that are on the reef. So I think that is it for me for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye.